Right up in the northern reaches of Scotland, there's Cape Wrath and its little lighthouse. And this is my quick impression of Cape Wrath. It's usual 15 by 11 watercolour Fabriano watercolour paper, large ache. Usual seven colours, you'll see them in the description if you have a butcher's down the bottom. This is raw sienna with raw sienna initial wash with ultramarine over the top of it. And then these are in crimson, Payne's grey, just for a nice sort of cloudy colour. And then you got some, uh, which way should we go? Just coming across. Just like that and then down. And then obviously as they reach the horizon, they sort of get narrower. Actually I'm coming too low. So I'm gonna do two thirds of the way up. Actually that'll do. Don't need to go mad with the clouds. Clean brush, same colours again. In fact I didn't really need to clean the brush if I'm uh, honest. Uh, actually what I'll do, I'll give that a quick dry first, because I haven't really got any distant, anything in the distance, it's all fairly close, so I want quite sharp edges, if I had distant hills, then I'd put them in before the paint paper's dry, just give that sort of hazy, far away look. That. See how the paper stretched slightly, so it's just a case of refixing it. Pull it taut and refix it. But wet it all over before you start. It just lets me use this cheap paper and get away with it. You still get some decent results with it. So all I've done, I've just mixed all those sky colours again, and I've just got a nice. bit with a hike. So. Back to the hike, got a, a lighthouse, where do I want to put in, on the go, just, just very loosely, you can go there, and then there's a, a few little buildings there, and then there's Big one there. There's some chimneys. And then we've got got a little bit too small, I think, on the scar. But I'll, I'm gonna I'll stick with it. See how I get on. slightly darker. Just put some windows in. There's a big door that's too dark I should have got a slightly darker mix needed. And I'm just gonna Use a smaller brush. It's probably be better if I use a smaller brush, but I just, I just, I'm not used to the height now. I use it for pretty much everything. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm picture sort of stopped here. I don't know what's here to be honest with you. So if in doubt, just bash a few trees in.
path it sort of comes right the way down here so just trying to vary this bit a little bit It's of grass and what have you. Then there's sugar. got a there's like a, a fence a stone stone wall it sort of it sort of starts up here and then works its way around so I'll put it in dark first put it in nice and dark In. I'll scrape it out a bit with the card to try and define a few little stones and whatnot. So that'll do for the dark bits and then basically this wall there's a, there's a few little bits across the top that sort of come down. Stone bits that go across. And just to get bigger and bigger, the closer they get to us. in loose and then just go in between a little bit and that dark mix again just going over the Along that side, there's some grass, grassy bits down there. And then we've got our path. Now for paths, I always find light red and ultramarine seem to work nice. A sort of nice pathy colour. Not always particularly accurate. It's sort of red rain there somewhere. I'll just stick that in. Try 
kind of scuff it up a bit. darker bits and then there and then maybe some little figures might uh might go in there. Um, where should we put him? I just want a little figure sort of walking off into the round the corner. If I went say, I might need to give it a quick dry first actually. Yeah. Remember when you get to otherwise, when I put my hand down, I'm going to get paint all over my hand and get a handprint on the picture. I've fallen for that a few times. I think that'll do for that. And then if we just have our little bloke. flying out of the trees. I think that's I think I'll leave it at that now before I uh, overdo it. Pop your signature in the corner. Not right in the corner because obviously when it's mounted or framed or whatever you wouldn't see it. And that's a quick impression. Kite Rath right up in the northern reaches of Scotland. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.